Keep watching. More ways to lose fat and tone muscles. Next on Body Shaping. Okay, we're continuing on with our beginner workout. It's never too late, and we're going to show you. That's right. What we've got for you right now is for the back of the arms, a tricep, and it's a basic dip. You want to keep your feet planted on the floor, hands behind you. Keep your body up a little bit. Hold the abdominal muscles in tight. Come down and push up. Jen is showing extremely perfect form, and I was just telling her before we started shooting this morning that she looks great every angle. She yes. looks great. But this is a good way to start your dips. You know, start them easy. Don't, don't, don't think you have to really start doing it heavy. Last one. That's great. Okay, and let's move over now for you. Now to build upon this, this is still a beginner. But so building upon it a bit in the sense that it's a bit more challenging. Mary Jean is keeping her body close to the bench. Her hands are behind her. Notice that the elbows are pointing back. The feet are planted on the ground. She's coming down and just pushing straight up, keeping the chest out a little bit. Right. Back Try of the arms, the tricep. I'm sorry, Mary Jean. I just want it, it's important for people Absolutely. to learn the body part names as well. So back of the arms is called the tricep. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get that little squeeze at the top, Jen. Great. Just to emphasize the tricep. And one more. And one more. Cool. Now, the next exercise, another basic exercise, which is going to work the upper body, but concentrate right now on the tricep, is a push-up. Mary Jean, you want to tell everyone about this form? Yes. Now, this is a great beginner way to do, the, to do a push-up. Back is nice and flat. Tummy is nice and tight, and she's going and she's bringing her chest to the ground, which is really a smart way to do this because form is really important in a push-up because you don't want to hurt yourself. You want to do it nice and easy. Okay, I'll give you two more. That's great. Two, and last one. Now, when you're a beginner, you want to start out with about eight to ten reps, three sets. Feel any pain, you want to stop. Remember to always consult your physician first before you begin any exercise program. Mary Jean has her knees on the floor. She's brought her hands in and they look like a diamond. It's a bit more advanced and the reason for this is to really emphasize the back of the arms. It's putting all the concentration in there. That's right. And look up. You don't want to tuck your head into your chin. Good point. But you don't want to spark it either. You just want to keep a nice One long more. Line. One more. Great. Now, we weren't using any weight before, right? We're going to move on to some weight. Just because you're a beginner doesn't mean that you can't use some weight. And what are we doing now, Mary Jean? Okay, we're doing over the tricep extensions. And again, Jen, if you notice, is keeping her arms close to her ears. Nice, slow, easy movement. Because you don't want to go fast on this. You want to take this nice and easy. Mm -hmm. And you can see it's working the under part of the tricep. A little I just ticklish. tickled her. I didn't realize she was that ticklish. <laughs> Two more. Okay. I hope you're watching, Rick. And the last one. <laughs> last one. Notice also how I'm holding this. As a beginner, what we've decided to do is, is use both our hands to support this weight. That's so it's right. right under here. And that's a safe way of holding it also because you don't want it to lose that weight. You don't want it to fall. Okay. Now I'm going to do a single arm, which isolates it. And I'm going to hold it with my hand just to make sure I don't cheat. So it's basically the same form, except that you're using one arm, slow and controlled. You'll notice a difference if you do it.